God's always wanted His covenant people to, uh, to live out their faith by caring for the marginalized, people at risk, people who are powerless, and certainly orphans uh, rise to the top in that conversation time and again in Scripture. Typically, there are between 1,900 and 2,000 children that have the goal of adoption, and of those, between three and 350 of those don't have an identified family. So that's, that's the number. Those are the kids that we're going after, the three to 350 that right now really just need a family and just feel like maybe God's forgotten them. Look around the room in a church, you know, during a service, and you count how many children are sitting in the room. That's how many kids came into care last year in a large church, over 2,000. Um, so we have 10,000 new children that we have to find a home for. Most of them are able to go to kinship placements, but overall, these kids are coming to us 24 hours a day, the middle of the night, in total trauma. Um, and we have to find good homes who are ready to be a soothing, loving home for these kids. The, the scripture is, is adamant about uh, the believer's work in reaching out to those who are in need, to orphans, widows, to, to those who, who are marginalized. So, I mean, it's, it's not like you have to build a biblical case. It's already there. I think for us, we just look at this, this is an extension of the kingdom. Certainly Jesus talks about caring for his kids in Matthew 19. James talks about caring for the orphan. I think a lot of times we probably made maybe a little bit of a, a, a mistake in saying, oh yeah, well, we may or may not be called to that or whatever, but you don't solve the problem by hardening yourself to it. I think you, you solve the or problem. Or just ignoring it. Or just ignoring it. You solve the problem by being obedient to Christ and loving when it hurts. I came to the foster program when I, the day I was born, and I was in five different foster families before I came to my forever family. There are a lot of kids out there who need good families, and I was a lucky one. And you can make a kid as lucky as I am. By adopting Desi, we, I feel like she changed our life more than we changed hers. Um, she's an amazing kid. She's funny. She um, loves her daddy. She shares her story with other kids, and now she feels like she's a mentor. She can spot a foster child at school. But I think that if her life had been different and she didn't have the support that we gave her, there's no telling where she would be today. I think somebody's missing the boat. We've been really satisfied in the church to allow the government to take over responsibilities that were clearly articulated for the church. We've been able, I think, to relegate adoption to people who felt called to it. Everyone in the kingdom is called to care for children, period. Uh, God didn't design the world to have orphans in it. He designed the family. And so every time you see an orphan, you see something that wasn't supposed to be, and it's something that's dishonoring to God. You have a good reason to be scared, but everything in the end is gonna be all right.